بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد we are um, like we said on the 16th uh, juz of the Quran and the 16th juz of the Quran is um, uh, part of Surah Al-Kahf Surah Maryam and, uh, and Surah Taha all of these are beautiful beautiful surahs um, that you know subhanallah um, deserve our study our attention uh, taking life lessons uh, from from all of them uh, today I want to focus on the beginning of Surah Taha Surah Taha the uh, 20th chapter in the Quran and there's a little bit of a story behind uh, the revelation of the beginning of Surah Taha um, so the story behind the verse is where uh, in Mecca, uh, when the Prophet ﷺ was in Mecca in the early days of Islam preaching the message, um, the chiefs of Quraysh uh, were opposing the Prophet ﷺ and they were telling him that إِنَّكَ لَتَشْقَى حَيْثُ تَرَكْتَ دِينَ آبَائِكِ You know, they would tell him like, you know, you're in distress, you've made your life stressful and a mess because you have left the religion of your forefathers, right? This is the messaging that they would uh, tell the Prophet Sallallahu and they would, they would uh, pound him with this, you know, they would keep telling him this. Uh, and the Prophet Sallallahu is a human being with a heart and feelings. And they would tell him to this, this to the point where he would be saddened by that. And the Prophet ﷺ would respond, Bal He said, No, I was sent as a mercy for all of mankind, not as a as a, um, you know, not as a, uh, something negative or something bad the way in which you're placing it. And um, and the Kuffar, they would say that, you know, this Quran was only revealed to Muhammad to cause him distress and all of these things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sends down, he sends down uh, Surah Taha, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Taha ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'ana li tashqa illa tadhkiratan li may yakhsha. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the translation that we have not sent down the Quran, Quran unto you to cause you distress. Rather, it is a reminder to those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, uh, and it continues, these beautiful ayat continue. Um, and these ayahs were the reason, as I said in the beginning, the Quran has this profound effect upon the heart when the heart listens, uh, when the heart is open and when the heart is seeking guidance. And so we find uh, these were the ayat, this the beginning of Surah Taha was responsible for the coming of Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab into Islam. The great Sahabi uh, Umar, the great companion of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, Umar became Muslim after hearing these verses. And so briefly, I'll remind you of the story. You know, Umar was a staunch enemy of the Prophet ﷺ. Um, he, uh, he wanted to uh, end the message and he wanted to end the messenger to the point where one day he was so distressed by the division that was, that it was there in Mecca uh, and, the, and the chiefs of Quraysh, they, they said that division was because of the message that the Prophet ﷺ brought. And Omar was one of his people and he had that same mindset. So he said, today I'm going to end this, today I'm going to take the life of Muhammad ﷺ. And so he sets out with his sword. Um, and Omar is a big, strong man who all of Mecca fears. They fear him. Uh, uh, they respect him. Uh, people, you know, uh, part out of the road for him. Shaytan moves out of the way of the road for Omar after he becomes Muslim, right? So imagine Omar, he was somebody who had a certain, uh, he commanded a certain respect and, and, and an awe. And um, so he goes towards that where the Prophet ﷺ was. And 
on the way, there's a man by the name of Nu'aim, who was actually a secret Muslim. He didn't profess his Islam because he didn't want the trouble that came with it at that time. And he, t he sees Omar and he sees he's upset. He said, where are you going, Ya Omar? And he says, I'm going to end this affair. Uh, I'm going to kill Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, Nu'aim, he says to him, you look at your own uh, household first. Look at your own relatives. He says, what do you mean? He says, your brother-in-law, Saeed, and his wife, who is your sister, uh, they have uh, become Muslim. And, what he, and the reason why he did that, Nu'aim, is because he wanted to divert Omar from the Prophet wasallam, even if it was going to put somebody else uh, in harm's way, so to speak. But you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had this beautiful plan as to why um, you know, he went there instead. So he goes to the house of his sister, Fatima. And as he approaches the house, he hears this, you know, this sort of um, murmuring that he can't really distinguish. So he barges into their home and he said, what is that noise that I heard? And uh, they said, no, it was nothing. There was another companion who was there with them his name is Khabbab ibn al-Arat, radiallahu anhu, another great companion. And he, um, he went and hid. When Omar came to the door, he went and hid in the house. And they had a small parchment from where they were learning the Qur'an from. And on the parchment was Surah Taha. And uh, Omar comes in and uh, he's uh, very upset. What is it that you were doing? I heard that you become Muslim. They said, no, no, we haven't. He starts to beat up uh, Saeed, um, and then his sister, which is Saeed's husband, intervenes, and then he hits his own sister, and then they say, yes, we have become Muslim, what are you going to do about it? And then uh, Omar, his heart, you know, softens. He sees blood on the face of his sister, and he says, wait a second, you know, okay, let me, uh, let me see what you are reading from. So they see that he's calmed down a bit. They said, no, you're, you're, you're not pure. You have to uh, cleanse yourself. So some nourish said he made, made ghusl, it more likely he made wudu. And, um, and he comes and he reads. Omar was one of the you know, uh, few people in Mecca who could read. Uh, it was not a literate society. And so he pulls out the parchment and he starts reading. Taha ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'ana litashqa, etc. And these ayat in the beginning of Surah Taha are so powerful, are so impactful because they talk about um, the reality of, uh, of the creator and his creation. Sorry, that um, a revelation from him who created the earth and the heavens. Uh, Ar Rahman, who, who uh, Allah, who uh, rose upon the throne, and and the ayat go on so powerful, so impactful, and he says these are beautiful words. This cannot come except from from uh, from up above, from the heavens, and he go. He says, "Take me to Muhammad. I want to become Muslim." They take him. Uh, he was he set off in the to in the in the beginning to go kill the prophet peace be upon him now he's going to accept the message and they take him to where the prophet sallallahu was in darul arqam in this gathering place where they used to meet in the outskirts of mecca where they used to meet secretly and study islam and they and he comes to the door and hamza who's in the house already he is already muslim he he says uh, they say it's it's umar and they all get frightened Hamza says, "Let him come in. I'll take his own sword and and take his and you know and take care of him." Uh, Hamza wasn't scared. Hamza and Omar were these were two powerful men uh, who everybody feared and respected, and so he said, "Let him come." And so Omar comes in, and and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi sees that he's coming with a different demeanor, and he and he and the Prophet goes to Omar and he takes Omar by his shirt. And he says like this, Al-an ya Umar, Al-an ya Umar. He says, now, ya Umar, you are ready. You have finally come to the truth. 
and um, and there he takes this, uh, and there Sayyidina Umar, he takes the shahada. And when uh, when he takes the shahada, all of the sahaba that are there, they all exclaim out loud, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And, and it says that it sent a, you know, a shock through Mecca because they, they were, there was so much, um, because they were so loud in what they did. It sent a shock wave through Mecca. And so SubhanAllah, that's the beautiful story of Sayyidina Umar. Um, uh, who became Muslim as a result of hearing Surah Taha. It wasn't the reason why this surah is revealed, but once it was revealed, it was the reason why Umar became Muslim. So subhanAllah, the Quran has this beautiful power and effect upon hearts that um, are ready to listen. May Allah make our hearts always ready to listen to Allah's words. May Allah make our hearts affected by the Quran, the way in which um, uh, the righteous have always been affected by listening to the Quran. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.